Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. I'm going to do a um, marble roll on this little tile with some of the uh, enchanted paints. Um, but I'm going to try a I'm going to try using, I'm going to do one with black background to use another tile. Uh, well, let's try the blue background first. I know black works, but I wanted to see if another dark color would work. These are my blue mixtures. So I'm just going to try it with one of these instead of instead of a house paint, plain house paint. Let's see what we get. This is um, phalo turquoise. I made it with phalo green and phalo blue mixed together. I love this color. So let's see if these enchanted paints work on this dark color. So I'm just going to use, I got some gold. I'm trying to debate, should I do little circles? I'm going to do my drizzle way that I done before. But I won't do as much. This is gold. I really don't have a plan. I just, I'm winging it. So that was the gold. This one is violet. They're deco art enchanted. Maybe I won't. I was thinking of swiping it, but maybe I'll just do the marble in it and then see how it dries. Okay, so that was the violet. And then I have some turquoise. And I have a little bit of this left. It's hard to tell where colors are when you when it hasn't dried because it dries darker. Okay. I'm debating if I should put no if I put yellow in there I'll get green. The only other one I have left is bit of blue. Hmm. No, I'm just going to leave it those colors and see. Put my marble. Oops. Oh, this might be a bit too thick. But we'll see what happens. Oops. Oh, it's not working. No. Darn. Well, somehow I have 
to save this, so let's just let this be and let's put a skewer through it. Paints need to be a little thinner for the marble because it made too much of an indent there. Have to wait and see at the end how it dries. Even this isn't moving very much. Maybe my base paint was too thick. Yeah, I think it was. So I'm gonna thin it down. I'll try the next one with black. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So now I have a tile here and I'm gonna do a black base. I thinned it down a little bit, so I hope it's thin enough now. I just want the marble to roll without lifting the paint. Okay. And use the same colors again. of water and varnish that I had. These are my bloom mixture paints. The recipe for the bloom paint mixture is in the description under my video. Hit the title and you'll get a drop down. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. You'll be notified when I do a new video. So this I say is this one's violet. Comment below, let me know what you think. This one is um, turquoise. This one's almost done.
these enchanted paints. This is a decorate enchanted paints that change color, by the way, work the best on a dark background. I can already see a bit of the turquoise coming up. We'll see how the marble works this time. If it doesn't work again, I'll use the skewer. a lot better. If you want more, you can always take your skewer and add some more. can tell it's already better because it's coming off the sides better than the other one did.
There, that's pretty good. all covered. It's gonna look cool when it's dry. I'll put the dried result at the end. It's a good idea to stir your paints before you paint, but sometimes you have to stir them again. Yes, you get all these little air bubbles. That's okay. There you go. Let's see how they dry. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Hi everybody. Well, I'm quite amazed at these tiles, how they dried. This one is with the, the dark blue background. Look how gorgeous that is. The pearl paints. And this one is with the black background. Oh my gosh, I love these. So that's a blue. I'm going to try it with another, maybe a dark purple and see how they come out. That's gorgeous. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.